Okay students, today you're going to have a lesson on Google Sheets as we're going to begin probably two weeks worth of learning about Google Sheets. And a lot of you still remember this from 7th grade computers. So when you're in your drive, open up your Computer 8 folder. The first assignment that we're going to do for this is called a Vendor Contact List. And it's what it asks you to do is it wants you to go up and open up a new Google Sheet and of course so you don't lose one point off you want to name it contact list and hit enter so just a reminder about Google Sheets okay remember if you want to select an entire column you click on the A up top say you want to select columns D through F I'd click and hold down on the D and I'd go over here just like that and say I want to select an entire row I'd click on the 5 here if I want to select extra rows, I'd click 7, 8, 9, and just keep highlighting down for however many you want, okay? If you want to collect, select certain cells, I could click here in A2, and then I could hold down the control button, and I could click in D2, and now I have A2 and D2 selected, okay? So just some reminders, you know, if you start typing out some words, and the computer's going to know, hey you're putting months in order. Remember you can go here to the right side with the black X and you can go down and do autofill. There I got January through August and then I can go all the way down and I can get until I have all the months lined up in order here for you. So that's one of the processes that you can use as well in Google Sheets. Another thing is the numbering. So if I number down here and I use the autofill I can see how it copies the number 2 here, but if I go back up here and I hit the control key and I do the autofill, what's going to end up happening is it does the numbers 1 through 12 for each of the months for you. So that should help you out some. You can click to get to a new cell. You can use the arrows on your keypad to go around to a new cell. Remember to make a cell wider, you want to click right up here. See, if I double-click, it makes it narrow, just the size of the largest amount in the cell. If I want to make them wider so I can see more in the cells here, I just go up here where there's a two-headed arrow, and I use that. So that's part of just remembering all about um, Google Sheets for you. The last thing that I'm going to show you in this quick tutorial is when you're typing out information, in Google Sheets. Make sure you put all of your headers here and especially in the first one if you go to the second page it shows you figure E-1-1 what you're going to be typing. Okay, You need to make sure to put everything in there the way they have it on their sheet to include the headlines. Okay, And remember the same concept here. So here's some of the headlines. You can highlight these right here just like this and you can bold them you can italicize, you can change your font colors if you need to. You can even do a fill color on them so they have the fill in there for you. You can do borders around things right here. You know, here's certain borders. There's the more option so you can center stuff right here for you. Okay. There's even um, the vertical aligning. So if your cell is a little bit wider here on this right there, you see how it's in the middle right there? It's vertically aligned for you. That's what vertical aligning does. And I think, and don't forget about the functions, which I'm going to do a whole separate tutorial about the functions. So I hope this information helps you out, and good luck.